What's the crack, lads? Welcome to our first eFootball 2024 player review slash breakdown. And holy, holy Moses, lads. I don't know what is going on with these cards because this is insanity. These cards are going to be so overpowered. We already got Messi. We will have a full review on him. And I'll show you him quite quickly of how these boosters work, right? This is the Messi. This is the Messi that they released. Uh, with the ver with the special edition Mer Messi that you can buy either through the points on PC or mobile or else you can get it on the shop, the PSN store or the Xbox store, right? And as you can see here, look at the difference between his boosted stats, which you see here. He's got the booster that's on, but all these players now have booster as well. So this is the Messi that, they, that you can have. But today, they have actually released players in a pack that you can spin for. So you don't need to buy the Messi if you want to have a booster player. You can get him on the shop, but if you don't want to, you can actually spin for these guys here. And there are two. There's two packs, right? So you've got the national teams, Guardians, and you've got Japan. And they're all booster players. And they're mixed in. We will have a review on the boosters there, but first we're going to take a look at these, right? Now, these are part of a pack... If you are just checking this out, there's some really good players in this pack as well. You've got these type of players that are the national team selection. So they're not boosted stats, but there's still, they're still some good players here. And they're mixed in with a couple of standard players as well. And obviously, it's a box of 150. But the real draw is obviously going to be Oliver Kahn boosted, Nesta booster, and Roberto Carlos booster. Right, Oliver Kahn. I have a free version of Oliver Kahn that I got off the eFootball Points store. But this guy looks insane because look when you put on the booster lads without even training him up he's got 27 levels to go he's going to have 83 goalkeeper reflexes and 81 goalkeeper awareness it's absolutely insanity man i hope that they balance these but i do think that these are going to be pretty much the best players at the moment that are released because of the way the booster stats work you can actually pop in extra stats into areas that you normally wouldn't so for the likes of oliver can who usually doesn't have a massive jump because he's so tall, you could actually get the jump up quite high with this, right? So again, he does have a real face as a legend. He also has unwavering form. He has the goalkeeping uh, booster, which is a plus two increase to his goalkeeper awareness, goalkeeper catching, parrying, and reflexes. And it says that the booster is activated at all times. So I will have a video out explaining the booster in more detail and also what it will be in the future. Will it be, you know, kind of extended upon? I think there's a lot of little nuggets of information to get out of that especially for people that have never really uh, heard about the boosters and don't really understand yet that didn't get the Messi pack right and I can tell you I played with Messi he is good now you don't need to spin lads you don't need to spin for these if you want to get to division one um, you can just get a normal goalkeeper in it's not going to make that much of a difference but in terms of building a squad you can see here that the booster stats is activated uh, here so when you've got nothing on here it's just gray when you have the blue little highlight on it and the little green icon bef beside the stats that is the booster stats and the booster ability so it raises up the abilities um can will probably go to 100 overall or 99 overall as you see there and he's got the player skills to back that up as well nesta is probably the third best option here in this uh he's got tackling 84 and defensive awareness 84 if you guys have not noticed by now, they've made slight adjustments to the tackling in the game. So you've now got two types of defense, right? You've got spatial awareness and zonal awareness, and then you've got on the ball tackling. So if you notice your players not putting a foot in um, and not being very aggressive, it's probably because they don't have high tackling stats and you've boosted up their defensive awareness too much or else vice versa. If you find that they're, you know, dominating, but they're, they're always caught out of position if you're not controlling them because the defending is so manual. And please don't complain about the defending lads. It's super manual, super responsive. But this actually boosts up um, some different uh stats rather than just his defense right so it's defense uh, defensive awareness and tackling but also acceleration and jumping he's down as a destroyer you can see here that this increased his defensive awareness tackling acceleration and jumping and it's activated at all times he also has these player skills uh heading one touch pass man marking blocker interception aerial superiority acrobatic clearance sliding tackle i mean these cards are absolutely insane lads if you are looking to spin you probably won't get better cards than this. Now, as I said, spinning is all subjective to you, whether you want to put money into the game. You can stay free to play because the road to glories and stuff like that with free to play are super fun. These cards aren't going to win you games, but they definitely will help if you've got a high rated team and you come up against similar players, especially if you're going for division one and two, they do give you the edge, but it's mostly due to their form. That's the big thing with these, with the changes they've made to the form, 
Roberto Carlos is going to be up more often than not. Neuer, Nesta, they're going to be always up on form, um, which is the huge difference that a lot of Division One players make uh, when they are investing in their team. But you can stay a road to glory free to play. There's a lot of players for cheap on the GP market. We'll get into that in our beginner's guide soon as well. But I think Carlos Lads is the best one. Now, the guys at eFootballDB are working away on all the new changes. There's been a ton of stuff added to the database. So they've assured me that they're working away on the DB that will be able to simulate what these cars look like. But I don't think we need to even go into too much depth in these cards, lads, because you can see how insane that they are. I mean, Roberto Carlos goes 32 levels, which is incredible. He also has these player skills. Knuckle shot, rising shot, first time shot, pinpoint crossing, outside curler, low lofted pass. He doesn't have early cross as a play style, but he also doesn't have one touch pass, which I think you should give him. Probably the best free kick taker in the game. And his agility is going to be boosted here. So it's a, two, two, a plus two to his stats increase in speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina. I mean, again, you have, at level one, 90 kicking power, 83 balance, 86 stamina, 88 speed, and 85 acceleration, with 32 levels to go. If you pop 12 into his stats here, you are going to have 100 speed, you're going to have 97 acceleration, you're going to have, what, 95 balance for a left back that can play left mid, but he can also play DMF. This guy is going to be the most broken card in the game. This Carlos card, I'm calling it here now, is going to be the most overpowered card in the game because of the way he moves around the pitch, because he can also dribble with that 77 dribbling. He's got pace to burn, he's got speed to burn with the way the speed is gone. This could be classic roberto larcos back in the day right this guy could be unbelievable and i think as an attack and full back yes he will be good as a left back but i think he's going to be absolutely insane in that central area of the pitch when you boost him up he can go 32 levels let me know what you guys think i will do training guides on these we probably will spin for a couple of these later in the live stream let me know what you guys think if you'd like to see a live stream with these players i will have a full review up on messi as well and talking about the booster but until then Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you in a bit.